Greetings, investor. I hope it's you. Yes, I've been waiting for you for a long time and I know you are there waiting for me because I need the right investor. And uh, that is someone who is not just uh, after the money, but who understands what money can do in the right hands and um, execute it uh, with a wise um, strategy that benefits all parties involved. So I have so much work. I'm an artist. I am also a connector of many things and I would say a designer of worlds. <clears throat> I can't really like phrase it to you in any other way. I've done something quite unique and you would literally need to get to know me and also getting to see my work. So all my work is in in a storage place and it's waiting for me to be taken out to a place of finalization and uh, that means I need an actual space where I can work and exhibit and I've been trying for a very long time uh, to get myself into a studio and I have had so much resistance that I'm not having it anymore. I mean, I, I have been terrified of actually making this video and I'm just making it now. Clearly uh, knowing that like, um, this has basically been my worst nightmare, making this video. Like almost like a, it's all coming down to being identified with the narrative. All the narratives, they are spinning here getting who we are and the whole rest of like spiritually spiritual poverty and the deprivations that it breeds so i've had enough of actually being in the closet now and i'm ready i have so much solution stuff that is very practical it's designed to create living environments where life itself can thrive and yes i have been given this line and this statement some thought that's what it boils down to and it's designed to anchor and provide a container system in which life itself can thrive and it's using who we are our native innate creativity yeah there's so much to be said about like how this system is completely and utterly I mean it's just so wrong that it's like it's right again like because you also gotta acknowledge that it's our complicit complice, compliance complicit tacit agreements and self-breaching negotiations yeah lame negotiations how we copying out and all of this it's just so much is about the rewiring of our daily habits and uh, and doing this in a really meaningful way that is aligned with who we are and applying this to the real world yeah because the, the major takeover is about like you know the machine now wants your body if you are an inspirited human they are after you yes so here we go you get to expand with me I can assure you that I've been actually advised to charge for my presence uh, in people's lives and I kind of like start to literally contemplate for those of you that can please consider doing this because I'm way more fun to be around than a lot of like people have been <laughs> assuming when I would bombard them with my mission, my mission, my mission, my mission. I'm here for the mission, the burnout mission, the burnout mission. And I was never ready because ultimately it, it really, it all goes through your own individual filter and how you expressing uh, 
this so-called one love energy, the creative energy that no, it's not just all oneness, like you've come here to be you. And there's, I, I must say, I'm quite a good teacher when it comes to that. And everyone in my network will in one or the other way having to confirm this. Yep. So I'm looking for you. If you are a interested in bringing actual finances behind me, I have all the business, all the, all, it's all laid out. I just need the money literally from the right, from my investor, from who I feel like literally this is in alignment. Yes. I also I'm looking for someone who can <clears throat> and would love to because it's their passion uh, document um, my journey uh, as it starts now as I have acquired a little trailer called Ruby and Buster's already looking forward to show her up yeah show her off she is getting a makeover and my dearest Luby Lou is gonna come with me. She's already been forcing herself onto me for this weekend. So we're gonna keep you posted. Unfortunately, we can't take Milo with us. So, you know, here we go, but you're gonna hopefully get to see him soon. Milo is our little guard dog, who is like such a comedian. Yeah, I'm actually in love with dogs. I need to be like, I'm basically like looking, okay, this, the third one is like someone who can give us a hand with all the, like an online technical virtual assistant. I, you know, like ideally you're going to be around and you, um, you know, you can help us out because you can travel with us. Uh, and that's soon going to happen, you know. Uh, as we are looking for uh, a summer camp somewhere here close to London or possibly in Wales or possibly in Dartmoor. We haven't quite decided, but I'm going to basically keep you posted about uh, the uh, the way how we're setting trailer and Buster. So this is my van and uh, Ruby the trailer. Yeah, like Buster the van, Ruby the trailer, Buster the LDB convoy, Ruby the trailer. The little catering trailer now we're gonna set them up like a mobile platform that can now basically start rocking up wherever the wind is or like the, the vibes are guiding us yeah and uh, yeah so we looking to make this happen now we are making it happen but anyway that's a whole other story so everything is going to be about reclaiming stuff uh and repurposing it so like let's say you find wood over there i find the aluminium shelves that were disposed from some shop over there and i would kind of like carry it back and now this is being used for shelving and building little roof boxes um for ruby for the trailer and yeah everything i'm very crafty and i'm very very uh, uh, uh i actually i actually do a love skill and apply skill and learn skills and like especially with my hands and uh, getting very therapeutic and grounded in my actual life away from the screen so again like you know someone who's gonna film our lives would be really cool and knows all the editing stuff. I'm already talking for almost 10 minutes. And I've completely lost my track now. Yeah, the investor is the main thing. That is the main thing. Like I know you out there. I know you have been waiting for that. Waiting for that. You know, because this is gonna be a lot of fun can show you that finally like I've made a decision I've made an actual decision in these last it, something happened in these last four weeks that really changed everything so I'm putting my 
foot down now and my world out there and I'm saying please yeah, when you see this video don't be shy don't be discouraged because I may appear like whatever you know it's like I'm just sick and tired of the pretense and there's a big story very um, interesting story that ties into like pretty much everyone's life of why I am coming out now and only now and maybe I wasn't ready for the reason that is making perfect sense yes because we are on an internal on an eternal journey becoming more and more of who we are and preventing this transhumanist takeover attempt this stealth take over attempt that is not happening on my watch from happening by embodying fully who we are bringing everything collapsing all of who we are into this into this body that like naturally activates this sacred technology that's actually like hidden in your so-called junk dna right Anyway, I'm saying goodbye for now. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm expecting you uh, uh, to come my ways very soon because now you are being called uh, and your call has been answered too. So it's been a, I see, a, a mutual agreeable street of reconnection. <laughs> mm.